Hello everybody, salut les voyageurs. So first, Happy New Year to everybody. I hope that we all stay healthy and achieve our goal. If some of you take a resolution for the year, that's the moment. This video will be divided in different parts, so you can skip if one topic interests you more than the other. But first, I will answer some question that you already asked me in uh, Instagram. I put some poll and you answered me. If you want to be able to answer, uh, to ask me questions and stuff like this, you can follow me on Judo Nomad, Instagram or in Facebook. First question, uh, what was my best memory of 2022? This is a complicated question because I had so many good, good moments um, in 2022. And it's like the question, like, what's the best country and stuff like this? Like, I always going in places where people are lovely with me and it's hard to pick one thing, but I can tell you some good memories. For example, when I was in Lithuania, it was like the really, really beginning of the year and I totally broke my ankle. And I've got lovely people, uh, Marius, Linas and all the Lithuanian people that helped me. And it warm your heart, you know. Uh, same thing in Slovakia with the Ukrainian refugees, in Jan taking care of the people. That's kind of what made me the most happy to see the generosity of people all the people helping and that's something really good. We went in Georgia with um, Lasha Bekauri, the Olympic champion of 90 kilo, and the coach David that I became a good friend with. We went climbing a mountain against a river and fishing all the weekend there and it was really nice even though I lost my camera and that's why I have the new one today. But yeah, like really, really nice memory in Kyrgyzstan also singing all together in the sola, uh, sauna, it was sauna boat, really really good. By the way, this video will be long, it is different kind of video than usually, just to, if you're interested to know about how I could survive this year and what's the project for the next one, then you're welcome to watch, but I know it's gonna be a different video than usually. Second question, the music of the year, well, I would say the music uh, that I was listening in the um, in the boat uh, that time, but I cannot put it because it's copyright. It's Russian mu music, and yeah, it's like bringing back uh, memory. I would put the the name there, and you can check if you want. What I didn't like in 2022, well, at the time I published that video, you will see it already. But I've had huge, huge problem in 2022, and uh, I didn't like having so much money problem, like with the Mafia in Kyrgyzstan, losing my material. And even when I came here, I came back here, now I have some um, administration problems. So 2022, I lost more than 14,000 euro. It is all my budget uh, practically. So now I have to find a new way. One word for 2022. Well, if I think about the year now, I think more about the end of the year that ended up really badly and yeah, trouble will be what's coming back first but more globally it is generosity friendship because that's what everybody is proving me all the time going to new countries which country has been the best in 2022 i talk about it in the first question so this question come from my um, brother that i met in georgia the thing is i split countries in different not country experience in different part like there will be the the people, there will be the landscapes, there will be, um, I don't know, the food. And well, to be honest, Georgia is on the top. I will never say what is the best, you know, because I don't even know myself, but Georgia is one of one on the top. Um, I would say Kyrgyzstan also. Now, Nepal, India. It is really shocking, but this is one of the best experience I've ever had so far. So, yeah. That's it. Okay, so now let's go to the video. So, if I rewatch the video of 2022 that you can find also on the on the link over there, I've had 11 goals for 2022 and we're gonna see today how it went. About 2023 we will set the bar a little bit lower because you will see that the expectation of 2022 kinda didn't work out. You see the thumbnail that you clicked on the video? It is changed kind of the plan was to invest all the money left for this project so i had something like 14 15 000 euro as i told you it was like making all in investments in the project to make it step up make it bigger bigger and even though i invest everything it will come back you know but different thing happened 
I will let the title because the logic is the same. Keeping investing, investing, investing all in, like in the poker. So the first goal from 2022 to today was to switch the channel in English from French to English. The results are mixed. The thing is, it was growing, growing, growing. I could see that I had like less than 40% of my um, community that was French. Didn't mean that they, lo uh, they, they got lost, the, the French I had before, just the English were getting bigger and bigger. But now, last month, I have 62% of my community that is French, from France or French-speaking country. This is because one old video that kind of gave me trouble for this channel. By the way, if you're coming from that video, please let me know. It's very interesting for me. You can say it in the comment. I have a video in Germany. Um, the title is in French, but maybe in English also. The title is what German people think about French people. And this video blow up. Like, I'm near close from uh, 150,000 view when usually I'm going to 300 views for average video, you know. The thing, it was very clickbait title and during the World Cup, because of the title France, Germany, Germany lost in the early round of the World Soccer Cup and then a lot of people being looking for that kind of things and my video blew up even though there is nothing in comparison with Soccer World Cup but anyway I have many people subscribing from that video but those people are French first and those people are not always interested in traveling, in judo, in uh, beautiful stories of discovering cultures and stuff like this I might close that video or put it in private at some point if it keep giving me trouble because now the channel is growing but I can see that many people don't watch the new video so it's a big problem. Overall um, the translation from French to English worked pretty good. There is the subtitles. I would still need someone to help me correcting those subtitles because it's not perfect because it's automatic translations. About that video I have one new goal for 2023 is to make one viral video as well in English that could help me to get the proper audience. So. I would not aim for 150,000 like this video, but at least if I can get 20, 30k, something like that, it would help me to get a new, a new start about that. Second goal, I wanted to make another YouTube channel about judo techniques and stuff like this. I was thinking to dissociate a little bit the topic because some of you like travel, some of you like uh, judo, but I failed. I uh, didn't um, didn't find time for it that's okay Th that's how it is so I can tell you that the new goal of 2023 is to work a little bit more on this and I don't want to make a new channel I struggle with my time so I want to make on the same channel a playlist that will be called judo or something and that judo player will know if you go to that playlist you will have more judo content so this could be like some teaching of mine or of someone about some specific things. Things like stories of judo players and stuff like this will keep staying in the main part of the channel because I think it's interesting to everybody but like judo judo content will go on that special uh, playlist and we'll see how it works. So third goal, I wanted to make a website and a shop online also. Same, I didn't do it like missing time but very good news, two days before I've met a friend, Alexi, I hope that you watched that video. He will make a proper website for me, so I believe the website's coming soon, stay tuned for that. So that's the goal of 2023, having a website, nothing crazy, but something that's running and uh, where I could share the videos, where I could share who I am, what I'm doing, because companies and stuff like this asking me sometimes so a website would be good to make a resume you could see the the map with the itinerary with the articles of the countries where i go i could put some shop but that will stay in the in the project and also it's easier to get sponsor when you have a website and i'm needing sponsors so bad right now the fourth goal was to make one video a week so one every seven day uh, last year I was at one video every 12 days and now we are one video every 8.5 days so it's not a miss it's not a win but it's not so bad if I count the short uh, we got it we got it like one video every seven days so I'm pretty happy about that so the new goal is to go to one video every week and I would like to achieve achieve the challenge remember maybe in an old video I said I want to make uh, for one small period of the time, 
one video a day for seven days or something like that. The fifth goal was to get more money than the money I spent in this project. So same, it is not a win, not a lose, I will explain you why. The thing is, at some point I was getting, with uh, sponsors and everything, I was getting something like 700 euro a month. I would put like one, 150 euro extra from my budget and from my calculation I could last like this uh, many years actually and it was growing every month so it was going on a good way. I was close from saying yes. The thing is, I lost everything. I lost my budget, I lost my sponsors, and uh, so now we are very far away. Like uh, two, three weeks ago, we were at 149 euro a month uh, by the Solidar Solidarity uh, funding website. I will talk about it very soon. And now we are like 280. So the thing is, before last year, I was in Western Europe, Europe and a little bit Central Asia and now I'm like Central Asia I'm going down with uh, India, Southeast Asia so we are in poor country when I was in Europe I had a different way to to leave this project I had my budget the thing is since it's a rich country when I was doing Judo even if it's for free people would give me money sometimes you know to help me uh, I had the um, people on Instagram on YouTube you you know that uh, helping me so it was a good thing now I don't receive any money from any judo club anymore. The last time I received, and thanks for that, it was in um, Kazakhstan, Almaty, like really nice people there. But in one year, I think I've, be pay I've been paid once, you know, so I cannot count on that anymore. So I had my sponsors before, plus the funding. But the thing is, as I told you, so how I lost this money, first is the mafia, you will I mean, you've been listening in the video, if not, I will put it over there. Uh, second is material, I lost my camera with uh, Bicaudi, as I said. I lost my drone because of um, Syrian Mafia, same thing, there's a video, it is in uh, Killist. I lost my sponsor after like one month ago, not because they don't like me anymore, fights good. We're still good friends and maybe they will come back, but now they have big problems with money. And the thing is, just before I lost my sponsor, I was in that mood, in that um, motivation of, okay, I'm going all in, I need better material, better investment and stuff like this. I was with 700 euro, I was still fine, you know? So I bought that little one uh, just before, which is another investment uh, that can give me a problem, though it is way smaller than my old computer, even though it's not as good as my old computer it's more easy and uh, convenient to work with this one and uh, yeah lastly I came back in France and uh, I have some administration problem with my uh, company and I might pay 6,000 euro for that so yeah that's where the money goes when I discovered uh, that I don't have that money anymore I decided to invest, to ask for help from my community, you watching. Since I have most of my community coming from Western Europe, America, Australia, and like from richer country, I'm trying to ask them to help me uh, instead of asking in India, for example. Even though in India there's a lot of people helping me. I'm asking the buy me a coffee strategy, which is people giving me one euro, one dollar every month. Like not in one time, because it's hard to plan. This is my job, this is professional things that I'm doing. and. If you cannot anticipate what's coming next month, then you cannot work properly. So one euro from one euro a month, and uh, that's it. You know, when you're earning, let's say in France, for example, very, very minimum, which is 1,350 euros, something like that. So yeah, trying to boost that solidarity thing. And I don't want people to give me crazy money. Like when they were giving me one time, they would give me 50 bucks or 100 bucks, you know. It's very good, but I can plan only the month with that. Well, if everybody is giving me small money, since we're 5,000 something, if only 10, 15% agree, then I can get the first step of this project, which is having 850 euro a month to survive for the visa, for going to the next place, for anticipating what's coming so I know the expenses and stuff like this or I can get even higher than 850 so I can start to hire people for me 
and uh, help me for work, you know, so I would give job to someone. I can think of donating things when I'm coming. For example, in Nepal, I would have loved to give more, but I couldn't. Yeah, there's a lot of things we can do um, with that money. So <clears throat> the good news about that, before I was working only in uh, Tipeee, which is a French website, and a lot of you have problems with it because uh, it's not very user-friendly. The thing is, they are the best website. Uh, they take me only 8% tax, you know, so it's not that bad. So if you want to go on that website, you can, you can do it yourself. And if it doesn't work for you, you tell me, okay? And I can help you. Otherwise, there is also the Patreon, which is English website, way more user-friendly, but they take bigger tax. And the last one is YouTube directly, which make everything faster. You just have to click down there the, the super thanks or you go to my channel and you can also take a subscription if you want but the best is TP and so yeah I was talking about one two euro a month but if you want to give 50 euro more, more than welcome from 13 dollar 13 euro a month I send a postcard to everybody and this month we're about 15 people that I will send a postcard with so thank you very much for all the people that decided to, to help me and now I have three months to grow that number either from the people like you either from sponsor but i need to go to 850 euro a month to make that project survive um yeah what changed also is i cut the unique tips like now i'm trying really to make that subscription even though it's very small like one two euro but this is what's helping me so no more subscription like just one time only on YouTube if really people want to, but I'm trying to avoid that as much as possible. The postcard also, we're starting to get very expensive. In some countries I would pay like more than half of the price that people getting uh, giving me, plus I have to pay the tax on my company and stuff like this, and I would earn like two euro, you know. Also spending all day looking for postcards, sometimes stamps, waiting at the post office. It was like really a big problem. So now what I do is I post my pictures and everybody is happy with it so i'm happy with it also so now my goal is to keep growing that money Let's say for the end of the year i would like to have 1000 grow the youtube because now i'm paid by youtube uh, next month will be the first one so i'm very happy it's gonna be something like 30 dollars but that's the beginning and yeah i would like new sponsor yesterday i went to see the french judo federation didn't work out that way but they're gonna help me with communication and something maybe good is coming with igf I was working collaboration with them, maybe I'm gonna tie up uh, this link and something good would come. And yeah, anyone I could work with that have the same values as me, as my project, then it will be really good. So, talking about that, goal number six was to activate the monetization on, on YouTube. And this is done. I did it like two weeks ago. So, it is mostly because of that German video uh, video in Germany that bring me 50% of my views we have today in total in the channel I think 180,000 views and 130 or something like that. no 100 I don't remember but like more than 50% coming from that video which is a problem but goal achieved new goal about that I don't know trying to yes trying to grow the average views uh, not the numbers of views but average people watching like if i make a 10 minute videos like average will be three minutes let's try to grow to four minutes uh, which means improving the quality of my videos that will be the the goal uh, for 2023 okay goal number seven injuries that was the goal number seven because the year before I had three big, big injuries, which started from small, the knee. By the way, it's a nice short, right? I'm preparing to go back to India and I'm not in my room. This is a cinema room, that's why it's a bit messy. But <clears throat> the goal was to not have injuries anymore and it worked. I didn't have any injuries of the year because I changed my approach of the judo. I don't accept to fight with everybody anymore. And it's working good, but as you can see, the problem is I took weight for two reasons. First, I'm not fighting anymore, I'm teaching a lot. And like right now, for example, I'm in very polluted country and I cannot run. I couldn't run in India. I couldn't almost run in um, Nepal for the same reason. And in Tajikistan, like all those countries have some of the most polluted capital in the world. Delhi is the most polluted capital in the world. So 
that's the first thing and the second is since I don't have enough money I need to work 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 to try to grow and I don't take any day off for me but if it's getting better I could take one two days off saying okay I'm going separately in hotel or something you know and going to a gym taking time to work properly on my computer so I don't have to always be focused on that you know so I could take care more of myself so yeah that would be a goal for 2023 being able to have more time for me to take care of my health I would like to come back to let's say 85 kilo for 2023 right now I'm 90 so that could be a goal and the other one would be coming back more often to my uh, family like I did today, I did it for a different reason. We can make a video if you want about it. Well, I don't think so, but um, I would like to come back more often. Like right now I'm very far away, going in India to New Zealand, but if I'm very far away, coming back at least one time a year, and if I'm closer, coming back sometimes, you know, that's some balance that I need. And in the future it could change, but yeah, I need to come back more often so I can even prepare my videos and prepare what's coming next. It's more healthy that way and I don't cheat with the project because I still don't use fly unless I have no choice to move somewhere. Like I, I moved from Delhi to France, then I coming back to Delhi and then I started again my roots, you know, there is no cheating in that. Okay, number eight, goal number eight. So I wanted to make a planning of life because uh, like saying, okay, I wake up at this time, doing that, this time, this time, this time. And it's a fail. <laughs> I couldn't do that. Uh, for the same reason I explained just before. Uh, no money, so I need to just go with the flow and follow what people tell me and produce, produce, produce. I don't have time to do what I want exactly. It's starting to be hot here. I would not set a new goal about that. Like, just want to have more time for myself. So, yeah, let's say if I could take one day a week for me that would be good for 2023 goal number nine the goal was to make more reels on instagram and tiktok um, more reels and more tiktoks and yes i did but it is not good enough so yeah i should really focus on that same thing if i could have someone helping me for that that would be good like all the videos i'm doing on youtube for example just cutting it putting putting it on TikTok, it is some work. I, I could do that, but it's taking time. So if someone wants to help me with that, more than welcome. This is what's helping to grow, to make that project reach new people. And right now Instagram is declining a little bit. I don't really like TikTok. Sorry if the light changed a little bit. Goal number 10, it was social network. So I'm gonna read the stats. Instagram, YouTube, Facebook. So I was having Instagram, 2000 followers youtube 700 followers and facebook something like 500 i couldn't find the exact data on instagram i got 55 percent more 3100 on uh, youtube 150 percent more 1800 a little bit more and facebook i got like 887 it is a fail because i wanted to have like 5000 on instagram uh 2000 between 2.5 5,000 on YouTube it's a fail but the thing is don't really matter like number of followers growing it's good but what I really want and I talked about that uh, last year is people uh, engaged like watching the video like you that are watching the video until I right know you are the audience I'm looking for like you are the people engaged and thank you very much for that even if you don't um, give money for example for the project just doing this is helping a lot if i want to set new goals about uh, social medias for next year technically we saw youtube is growing 150 uh, percent insta 50 percent so i want 20 at the end of 2023 to have equal or almost equal uh, numbers on youtube on instagram if more on youtube even better and yeah i want to keep growing that audience but keep growing and keep being engaged so let's say i don't know insta we're gonna keep the same number five thousand people youtube maybe four thousand and facebook it's not really important what's important also is to to grow on tiktok so we will see if i can make that the last goal goal number 11 and you're gonna like this one because this is the itinerary we cannot say 
miss or win with this goal because it doesn't depend on me. The plan was to go from Lithuania to New Zealand and I thought I would be in New Zealand. Actually I'm in India and I was not supposed to, to pass by this way. The thing is, the war between Russia and Ukraine was about to start but we were not sure about it. Covid was still going and I was supposed to go in Russia, uh, Kazakhstan, Mongolia, China, Japan and going down. But I couldn't do that because of the event. I did 17 countries in one year. I would have liked to do maybe one more, two more. So in total it is 28 countries in this project and 26,500 kilometers. So the goal for next year is going to be 19 to 20 country. But again it's gonna depend on money. Like if I'm struggling with money I might stay in Australia a little bit to work there. The countries I'm, plan I'm planning to go, well I finish India, Bangladesh, Thailand, Laos, Vietnam, Cambodia, Malaysia, Indonesia, Singapore, Timor, Papua New Guinea, Australia, New Zealand and then it will depend <clears throat> either we come back Brunei, Philippines, Taiwan uh, then to go up South Korea, Japan, North Korea and then coming back to China or we will go, we will go to the Oceanian island like Kiribati, um, Vanuatu, those kind of countries but it's very very expensive so we'll see how is the budget at this time or I will make a poll and eventually we could go to directly to the US if I find a boat but I think it's going to be complicated though I will try to do my best to find a way to go there by boat. I know from Russia it's maybe possible but we'll see you're gonna vote for it. Uh, I would like if I have the money for it to take one break this year to come back here in France uh, maybe at the end of the year and I would like to see my family coming for me, also my friends, but I'm coming to the interesting, well, every country is, inter is interesting, but a lot of people want to join me in Southeast Asia, which I can understand, so I believe you will see some of my friends. Okay, so that's it for the goals that I planned for 2022, but now I want to talk about a few more things. So another goal that I will set for 2023 is material as i said i want to go all in so um, i want to get the best material i can to provide you the best quality content so the thing is i have a phone which is quite good you can see the pictures i took away my camera for the phone i take the photo with gopro on my phone it's good but i want to upgrade this and go for the um, iphone which is just a little bit better a little bit more <laughs> pricey also but the thing is I don't know why, like when you post on Instagram, especially the story, the quality is always better with iPhones, so I can get better audience, like better engagement rate, and yeah, I just want to do the best in order to be as much professional I can. I want to get back a drone, because everybody love it, I love it also. I would like maybe an extra camera, like the GoPro that is here, I would like to put it on my chest like this and having another one like this. I want to keep upgrading my um, subscription. It's like I need 100 or 150 euro of subscription a month, like for example Adobe for editing the videos, like uh, some premium things to put the music on the video and stuff like this, you know. The more I can have subscription to things, the faster I can work, like the easier it is to me for me to make proper job, you know, so that's another goal. And yeah, for a longer, longer time, but this is not for this year, I would like to to make a studio, or not even only in France, like, could be in different places, but when I come back here, having somewhere that I can work properly and prepare what's coming, you know, like, coming back here two weeks and I'm preparing the three or four next month, something like that, to make something really amazing, you know, now I'm filming myself, I don't know what I'm gonna do, it's okay, it's good, sometimes good things happen, but it's not prepared, I want to become more professional, that's the point, not only of 2023, of the next years, we finished the first step, which was making that project being discovered, now we want to become professional, and it's everything or die, like I invest everything or I will quit 
if it's not working, but I don't have any doubt that it's gonna work. About uh, the big change, uh, it was 197 countries with no flight, no hotel. The thing is, in Europe it was working a lot. Like people would host me at their places, it was wonderful. But the more and more I'm going and the people say, okay, no, you will not be hosted here, but we pay hotel for you and when it's federation or clubs that getting hotel for me, I'm like, okay, you know, otherwise I'm staying in a hostel, which I love, but the problem in the hostel is there's too much parties and stuff like this, and it's like disturbing. So no, okay, I accept to go to a hotel. Thinking of the plan of that world tour I'm doing is to live with people. So I will always try my best to stay as much as possible with people. So don't think like the project is working really good. I will spend all my time in four stars hotel or something like that is a big no. The other big change is flying. You see I'm here now. I realized that it's not possible to go to every country of the world with no fly. Like for example I want to go to Sri Lanka, it will not be possible because of money problem. But all the borders are closed. You can only fly to go there. So this is the change. Still going to 197 countries with no fly except if I have no choice. Otherwise there will no be 197 countries. What's changing now is before I had that budget, you know, behind me and it was like my security budget. If something happened, I have that money, like 50,000 K. That's big and small, but it can change a lot of things in the world. Uh, for me, I mean, for my safety. And no, I'm experimented travelers. I live crazy thing. I met crazy people. I've met mafia, I've been in jail. I met wonderful people. I had some of the best story of my life but I don't have that security money anymore so yeah it is a new travel that's starting you know I have to be way more careful now way more safe and I will do my best for it yeah as I said it's going to be all in like I will really work to make that project become professional and hopefully at the end of the year I can say that I'm living with it properly Thank you everybody for watching that video. Thank you also to all the tippers, the people that helped me to, to make uh, that project possible. Thanks to all the judo players, all the people I've met that helped me fix for my family because it's really hard for them, family and friends, to support me with what I'm doing. And uh, yeah, even though sometimes there is crazy story, still here by my side it's something important that i need to have the support of my close one and thanks for the igf and all the others fights good everybody move sensei it was a wonderful year crazy stories and i'm 100 sure 2023 more thing will happen but hopefully no jail okay see you again in india